philosophy and prophecy of Philadelphia is in link to the native people here, the Lenin and Nafi. The Lenin and Nafi are the indigenous people of this land. And according to the descriptions given by historians and anthropologists of those era was that the Lenin and the Nafi people were a copper toned skinned people who were the earliest and the first inhabitants of this land known. Therefore, these melanated people had a very, very, very strong connection to the earth, wind, water, and fire soils of this land. They had philosophies about how this land should be kept. And they taught it to the European settlers who came here. And that same philosophy was also known by their brothers and sisters who were being enslaved, put in captivity, and sold at the coffee house, their African family from across the waters who had already been here helping to build pyramids in, in previous ages. So it ain't no mystery about us being the indigenous people of this land. We are related. Now, the philosophy of the original inhabitants was that the land, the nature, should never be destroyed. This is why Philadelphia has the largest parks. And that these parks, that the wilderness, the natural scenery, the parks must be kept pure and open for the day when people will return back to nature and be in communion with the Most High God once again. We're in the middle of North Philly. I don't know whether you know that where that sat or not in the globe. And this is one of the most peaceful places in Philadelphia. Everybody don't respect it the same, but one of the most beautiful hidden secrets of Philadelphia. The wilderness of Philadelphia according to the mystic treaties and the mystic sciences of the early Rosicrucian order was that the wilderness, the land should be remain sacred and the park should remain here to the day when man want to return back to his original state, his original godhood and her goddesship. Because nature will be the remedy and the medicine for the sickness of the people. Hmm. One of the things we have found out biologically, and this is a scientific fact, come through to the sessions to find out, but I'll drop it to you simple. ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder, was actually cured through nature therapy treatment of children. Meaning taking children out of their artificial concrete hard with non-living en energy around it. They took them from the concrete, unliving, unbreathing, environment and when they brought them into a natural environment the children behavior and even their psychological responses changed and then while they were there diagnosed in different situations their reactions towards some of the same stressful situations or circumstances or even feelings that their reaction to things change when they were in a natural setting and when they can think clearly and feel and breathe. This is so good and I was so apprehensive about drinking it 